believe it or not, it is okay to admit when you're wrong. It's okay to say, I was wrong. In fact, I think that's one of the biggest ways we can grow as a person, to own our mistakes and move forward from there. It helps you truly grow and grasp the bigger picture. And right now with Cardano, people are starting to do that. You know, Cardano's had a lot of bad publicity for a very long time. People said that it wasn't getting much use and it wasn't really doing anything and it wasn't very operable, but times are changing. There's actually a lot more happening within the ecosystem right now than ever before. And people are starting to take notice. In fact, one person who was not a big fan of Cardano not that long ago has in fact boarded the Cardano train and it is leaving the station. Now, who I'm talking about is none other than Mark Cuban. Everybody's probably familiar with him, owner of the Dallas Mavericks, billionaire. He last year went so as far went as far to say that Dogecoin had more utility than Cardano, which at the time really didn't make much sense to me. Okay. But he has now actually become an early investor in a startup called Book.io, which is in fact launched on Cardano. Now, not only is he a VC, an early investor when it comes to this project, but he's offering invaluable advice and help the firm generate connections as well. Now, obviously there's a lot of chains, right? That, that he could have helped launch this on. You know, it could have been done on Avalanche. It could have been done on Polygon, Ethereum. There's tons of options out there. But specifically, Cardano was chosen. And it's probably because of the developments that are taking place. Right now, Cardano is working on something big. It's working on interoperability scalability it's working on cheap fees it's trying to become the chain for all of crypto to help connect the unconnected get the people into crypto that aren't currently in and be able to do it at a scalable rate right be able to handle that that influx of people because right now obviously the world is at a very low percentage of people that actually use crypto we're in that four to five percent range if we want to look at getting to you know 10 20, 50, 100% of people in crypto using blockchain technology, you need to have something that can be able to withstand the masses. And that's what Cardano has been very diligently working on during this time. And all these rollouts that continue to, to come out in the ecosystem are really helping get to that point. And again, it is something that people are not ignoring now. They are starting to pay attention. The haters have gotten quiet. And it's something to, I think, really pay attention to. But I thought I'd share that with you guys. Mark Cuban is now in Cardano. So appreciate you guys as always. Definitely show your support below if you guys haven't. For the Clear Cryptos channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you have a great day, and we hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.